One of the women's basketball Civil War series went to the Ducks. There were a lot of big names in attendance at Matthew Knight Arena, including WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert. KZI 9 Sports reporter Julian Minnesone spoke with the commissioner during Friday's game about the state of women's basketball in Oregon. Here's the exclusive interview as our Civil War series coverage continues. Brought to you by Pacific Cascade Federal Credit Union. We are here with WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert. First of all, Kathy, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. What do you make of the atmosphere so far? Wow, great atmosphere. Pac-12 women's basketball is really, really exciting. And obviously, this is a big rivalry, too. And love the crowd, love the passion. What do you make of what's happening in women's college basketball, specifically here in Oregon, and how maybe that could translate to the WNBA? Yeah, it's so important to integrate, actually, the experience fans are getting at the college level and follow those players into the WNBA. So as we look at the draft, and we had great rookie class last year, great rookie class coming in this year, is really to capitalize on the momentum of you know this kind of environment. It's really great. And speaking of that rookie class, Oregon's got a pretty good one that's going to be coming in. Sabrina Ionescu, um, her jersey's being sold on Nike, and it's being sold out. National attention, your player records. What do you think a player of her caliber can do for your league? Yeah, I think players, there's a bunch of players out here on the floor today that look outstanding and really lifting again, bringing in great rookies. We have some great veterans and really integrating them into the professional women's league very quickly. That's why we worked very hard on the collective bargaining agreement so that we can provide a really professional experience for these women and really excited to see some of those on the court today coming into the WNBA next year. And part two of that interview will be on KZI 9 News at 6.30 on Monday. Next on